sup fam professor t is back with some more reacting to small youtube musicians and guess what it was still in friends and family week baby so right now we got a submission right here this one it wasn't a submission i picked him out because this is family this is my cousin's husband right here they pick it he does music he's an artist Found out about him, of course, through my cousin, and I said, I got to check him out, and I was impressed. I was blown away, so I said, you know what? So we're doing Friends and Family Week. We're doing Friends and Family and boosting up their music. We finna go in, and we're going to listen to one of his tracks and react to it here. So the track that I selected is this called Loving You by Jay Pickett. It's available on pretty much all the streaming platforms, Spotify, all that. I'm going to be streaming it from Tidal because that's where the quality, that's where I'm subscribed to to have the quality all the way up and it's going to be real crispy. So without any further ado, we're going to go in and check this song out. Bringing it already. Okay, I can't help but to dance. Get to get power rate. Right. Make sure they're free one too. This beat is nice too, bro. I'm messing with this song though, for real. Bringing it in with some double vocals. Okay. Double for the hook. I like that. Single single hook. Uh, uh, how am I trying to say this? A single... Re um, Shoot, a single track for the verse of this, double for the chorus. That's what I'm trying to say. In fact, I think it sounds like it might even be triple for the chorus. I think he's got left, right, center that he recorded for the chorus. I'm feeling these back, like these ad libs too. This song, I like how it builds too, man. Like it was like just something was simple to begin. Then the chorus came in double. Then it's got that now it's got all the backgrounds and oh my gosh, the harmonize. Oh, bringing it, the harmonize and everything. The mix is good too. Like this though, I was trying to think of who the single was. Is it Lucio? This reminded me. Of. I'm trying to make sure I get. Let me make sure I got the right. Yeah, we had Anthony Hamilton. It was reminding me of like Anthony Hamilton. There's some good stuff going on in that instrumental too, man. It's just something simple, but it's a lot like the bass line and. Piano and acoustic guitar. That's all you need, though. Nice. That's a little soft fade out ending. Snaps. Hi hat. That's all that you need. Man, he br he was bringing it harder than any of y'all, man. Like that deserves a lot more plays. So absolutely, people need to go and check this man out. You know what I'm saying? So my reaction to it, like I said, this is amazing. That was really good work. I mean, like I said, I peep all of that because, you know, I do this myself. So, like, I think that it was just so good how this came together. So first, let me start off with the critiques. 
this is an educational channel, so I always have to try to find something that I can critique to improve on, to teach you guys about. So a critique, I would say, um, let me go with the vocal performance. First off, you can sing. That's number one. Like, this sounds amazing with the singing. Like, it's really well performed and everything. However, for critiques of the vocal performance, like I said, the reason I always end up critiquing the vocals is because I suck. And I've been spending a lot of time studying and taking lessons and getting pointers from other singers. And it's caused me to listen to other people sing in a whole different way. So it gives me that different ear that I can give people critiques how to make theirs even better as well. So what it is that I would say for the critiques there, it's one of those things where I think it's where the difference between somebody like me who has zero talent but a lot of formal training for somebody like you, Jay, who's got probably not very much formal training but a ton of actual talent. That's where that gap comes in because what I was going to say here, it seems like there's some things, there's like an ear training thing. Like you intuitively sing everything and it sounds great. But a couple of things, there's like an ear training thing right here. There's a couple of things where it's a little bit, um, the actual intonation is slightly off. So really, that's like the only critique I could give. And where it is where the intonation is slightly off is on, if for instrumentalists, for if I'm, when I'm playing all the different instruments I play, we call it ornamentation. Like where you add little extra things. I don't know if it's called the same thing in singing because I forgot to look that up before I started filming. But it's like ornamentation, like where you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like something like that. So with ornamentation, when you're doing like those type of things there, the reason why the intonation can be tough is because we, you when you do it intuitively, you don't really consider like when you're doing that um, ornamentation, each one of those pitches that you're singing in there, what pitch is it that I'm singing? You know, that's kind of, so that's what it is like when you're doing that kind of stuff. You have to kind of actually break that down and think, what are the actual pitches I'm singing and do they fit in the key? So really that's the only critique that I would have. But, but like really though, this was excellent. Like it wasn't even that bad. Like nobody else probably that solicited this even would have said that or heard that. I do because like I said, formal training and somebody that's been studying singing. That's the only reason why I even heard that. So that's my only critique that I could give for that. For the beat, I don't really have any critiques for that. Because, like, you you basically just put on a clinic with the production. Because, like, you did everything that I would tell people to do. You did everything that my upcoming uh, tutorial series on making music and how to, how to do that. Uh, that me and Anthony and Shane, the, the guest speakers that are going to be on that series, would say. So, you like... Because, like, the song, it went somewhere, it built, both the way the vocals were recorded and how the beat was done, it all went somewhere, it all increased as the song went on. So, you, you basically just put on a full production clinic. I, maybe I need to interview you for, like, well, for that series, for an episode or something, because you just, you literally hit every point that I would tell somebody to do when it comes to the production and how to actually write and record and compose a song. So, this was... Excellent. So now I'm going to cut to past Professor T. And um, past Professor T is going to tell you guys where this ranks on the Professor T billboard chart. Now it's time for my favorite part of these videos nowadays. We got to go to the official Professor T ratings board. So this ratings board here. We're going to go ahead and enter this song here. This one, boy, you already know this one is about to be high. You already know that this one is about to be high right now. So right now, you already know that this is going to be up there, okay? Not even a question. You already know. It's, it's get, it's get, got to get all the way. We're in the top 10. Do I like it more than Jay Wild? Yep. More than vote kills. Yep. More than personal blame. Yeah, it's gonna go higher than that. More than hearts don't lie. Yeah, it's going higher. Motika. Yeah, it's going a little higher. Henry. It's going. Oh, oh, 
all the way up to number two, man. Oh, I messed it up. I didn't actually mean to go all the way up there. Hold up. The dog. Let's go all the way up to number two. That's how hot that this was. When you bring it like that, you move all the way up to number two. After sitting on it, there's some other movement here to report. So down here with uh, Motika and um, Motika Personal Blend and Hearts Don't Lie, These are there's some movements here. So the movement that you're going to see here, I think I'm going to move Personal Blend a little bit higher after having a little bit of time to hear this. Hearts Don't Lie is still in the top 10. Bo Kills by Jason Alessia and Walk the Line is still in the top 10. J8 Wild still remains in the top 10 as of today. The top 5 has moved around. We got Geek and Taylor Jones back to love. You didn't upset that song. That song, I can't. That's just my track. J Pickett, Loving You, number 2. Such a solid performance. You go come and bring it that hard all the way to number 2. Kajera, I Don't Mind. That's still up there. Draco, Extra Freestyle. And Hedrick stressed out, level out the top five. I'm going to do an outro right now just in case I forgot. So to Jay, to all of you watching at home, I love what you do. And I enjoyed listening to this, and I hope all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I will see you on the next one.